Hey everybody, welcome back or welcome to my channel. So in today's video it's going to be very different from my previous ones. Instead of like me doing role plays, I'm actually going to give you some ideas of what to do in Tokiboka if you're bored. Because I know sometimes Tokiboka can get boring, but I hope these tips will help you play Tokyo more and make you less bored so let's get started and also some of these ideas are accessible for people who do not have game passes okay now let's actually get started the first thing you can do is make a toga shop you can make any type of toga shops you can make bakeries stationery shops um right now i'm actually making a slime shop you can make fidget shops you can make a boutique you can make a grocery store you can make anything and it's really really good too because then you kind of have like more places to role play because in one of my other um role plays i made a stationery shop and i've gotten so many comments saying where did you get it where did you get it how much is it i actually made it so you can do that too however the shop i'm making right now is not a free shop but I will be making a free shop very soon. So right now we're adding like the slime stuff and by the way the slimes are from Snuggle Pack in case you want to get it. But you can find slime anywhere on the Choker map. You can also find it in the gifts so you can probably make this shop in a free version. I'm just putting all the glue in these cute white containers. The white containers are actually free. Now I'm going to go take out these slime containers. It's pretty hard, I'm not going to lie. And I was struggling when I was doing it. By the way, inspo to this slime shop is from Turkey is about on TikTok. Okay, now I'm going to go organise these containers. And I'm going to switch this table and that. Okay, it looks so much more better. Okay, so right now I'm actually just adding some decorations. I'm putting up like the slime shop thing I made at Activity House if you're wondering. So I'm going to show you the finished tour. So I have the Trulé, which is found in the mall, and like the slime shop thing that I made at the activity house, like I said. And then here you can make your own slime, and this you can buy like a preset slime, and you can put on that so you don't get like yourself your clothes dirty when you're making slime. I really, really like it. And now I'm going to show you a free version, but it's not going to be a speed build. Okay, and this is a free version of the slime shop. I'm so sorry if it isn't really good. I tried to make it look good, especially since I could only use free stuff. But basically, you can just like shop, buy some slime ingredients. And oops, I need a shop owner. I'm just going to go find somebody. I'm just going to go use her. Basically, you can just buy the slime ingredients. And I think it's such a fun role play. And I hope you guys like both designs and get inspired from it next idea is you can make famous characters in character creator and you can do a challenge with your best friends or your siblings so right now me and my sister did a challenge of who could make um 11 from stranger things in chocoboka you guys can write our designs in the comments below and because like, i want to see whose design you guys like better so yeah just watch me build it oh not build it create it oh my gosh i'm so sorry okay 
Okay, I'm just finishing the outfit and I just realised that overalls have looked much better. Sorry. And now my sister's gonna make Eleven from Stranger Things. So yeah, this is a voiceover by the way. And honestly, I think she did a pretty good job. Just rate us down below. And by the way, you guys can be honest about which one you like better. I respect your opinion. And this is a final result. Hope you like it. Now, this is quite similar to the character creator challenge with like making celebrities or like famous people. Except it's like a bedroom challenge you can do with your friends or siblings. I did this with my friend Bella. Her and I both made like a kawaii bedroom and we kind of a challenge of who could make it better i'm gonna go show you hers and you can comment down below which one you like better it's honestly so much fun doing this with your friends i highly recommend doing it or you can do it with like your brother or sister or like just anybody that you want to so this is her bedroom design you can also find it on a youtube channel and honestly Bella and I did a pretty good job, if I do say so myself. So yeah, I think it's really cute. And I do hope you guys will get inspo from either Bella and I. I like try to make videos so you can get inspired from it or so you can be entertained. That's kind of my main goal on this channel. Also, if you're still watching this video, I just wanna say I love you guys so much. Like, it makes me so happy when you guys watch my videos. Like, you don't know how happy I am. And I just wanna say thank you. And this is basically her final result of the bedroom. Comment down below which one you like better. And another thing you can do is make role plays. Making role plays is so much fun and entertaining. And for me, I'm doing like a role play series. You can do that too. You don't necessarily have to post it on YouTube, but it's just really fun to do. But if you don't know what type of role plays you want to do, well, I'm here to help you. And by the way, if you have a sibling, you can role play with them on your device. I do that with my sister sometimes. And I feel like playing with someone else is definitely much more fun than playing yourself. But anyways, I'm gonna go show you some role play ideas. These are some role play ideas you can do. And by the way, it's from tblw.bells, in case you're wondering. She has put in so many good role plays you can do. But I will also be telling you some free role plays. You can go to the hair salon, like get a new hairdo. And you know the garage? You can actually change the garage. I think it'd be really fun to change it and to make it more cute. My younger sister, like when she didn't have a new of the game passes, she would make it into like, she would turn the garage into a school, which was a pretty good idea. My next idea is change the preset shops or like just places in general. So right now I'm going to be changing this like technology area to a stationary shop. I think it's really fun switching stuff out. By what I mean is like, what's about the garage? Like I, my sister switched it to a school, like switch stuff up. It's so much more fun and more cool and you can get more stuff. Right now we're actually making a free version. You don't have to do the free version. I'm just doing this for people who don't have any game passes. If you do have game passes, I suggest making shops at the Pom Pom Aparium since it actually does give you an area where you can make a shop. Or you can also like change of up, you can like change hotels, you can change preset houses, you can honestly change anything of the preset stuff to give you, you know, like a unique touch to it. So if you're wondering why I'm adding stuffed animals, it's because I kind of wanted to look more cute, like a cutesy stationary shop and i really hope you guys like the free version i'm doing and basically that's the final look i hope you like it and i have one more thing for people who don't have any game passes and i'm going to show you here's actually a free scroll i made you can find the full video on my youtube channel i'm so sorry it's blurry it's like a really old video but i wanted to include it because um i have been getting some comments that were like could you make some free designs especially like a score that'd be really helpful so i did this i hope you like it
anyways yeah so i apologize that this isn't like one of my normal videos like my road plays it's just that i kind of wanted to switch things up i don't want to always upload road plays so i still hope you guys like this video